Hi everybody and welcome to The Trench. I'm a Christian and today we're going to talk about having a spiritual father. Today I'm joined by my pastor and spiritual father, Father James Coles. Say hello, Father. Hello, Father. I've asked Father James to talk with us a little bit about the role of a spiritual father in our lives. Who they are, what they do, why we need them, especially when it comes to confession. Which is great because now that it's Lent, one of the things the church counsels us to do is to go to confession. So Father, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm supposed to do everything you tell me, right? Without asking or questioning. Well, not exactly. You may be thinking more of the role of the abbot in the monastery, where the monks give to the abbot their obedience out of love. But in the parish, the parish priest doesn't serve in that kind of role in the same way, the same sort of function. In the parish, the priest is more of a fellow struggler who should know something about the forgiveness of sins and the healing of the human person. But you can read everything that's in my mind, right? Yes, and it turns out there's nothing there. Whoa. You talked about forgiveness of sins and healing. Could you say more about that? Of course I can. Then will you? Oh, I thought you were just asking. No, why would I just ask? So when it comes to healing souls and forgiving sins, obviously it's the Lord who does that and not me. Right, I mean, I love you, but you didn't die on the cross and rise from the dead, Christ did. Precisely. I'm not, nor is any priest, the master of forgiveness. We are stewards of forgiveness, as are you whenever you let go of some resentment and choose love instead. It's Christ who is standing there in the mystery of confession, and it's to Christ that you're confessing your sins. It's He who will come to heal and forgive you. Okay, so question. If it's Christ who's present in the mystery of confession, and it's Christ who comes to me to heal me and forgive me, why can't I just confess to him privately at home? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First, since Christ is both the healer and the medicine, it is my job to walk with people in the dark recesses of their hearts and apply the medicine of Christ's love. And in that way, it's important to think of the spiritual father as a doctor. What do you mean? Well, it's actually the medicine that heals you, right? Well, yeah, if it's the right kind and the right dosage. Exactly. People go to the doctor and they expect to receive healing from their sickness. But if the doctor doesn't know how much medicine or where to apply the remedy, they may actually be doing more harm than good. And often, the best doctor is your local parish priest. A hot dog! It's like no hot dog. Oh. Okay, so I have another question for you. Whose confessions are worse, mine or my wife's? Wait, are you serious? Yeah, whose are worse? It's not a question of whose are worse. All of us have sinned. It's like what we say in the liturgy, that I am the chief of sinners. It's not my job as the priest to make you feel better or worse about your sins, but rather to stand with you as you make an honest examination of your own conscience, your own heart, and to confess your sins before God. So hers? There's another reason that you don't confess privately, but rather with the priest. And that's so that the priest can remind you of God's love and pray the prayer of absolution. And you should know too that it is safe. The priest is strictly forbidden from ever sharing anything he hears in a confession. Oh, bummer, because I bet you guys hear some pretty juicy stuff. Well, if you think sin is juicy, then yeah. So what have you heard in confession? The relationship with a spiritual father depends on strict confidence in confession. This keeps you safe from toxic shame over what you've done. If you're coming to confession, no matter what you confess, no matter how dark it seems, how deep you go into some kind of dark part of your heart, you need to know that you are completely safe and loved by God. Right, so then your presence in confession actually becomes healing in itself because those dark places, those things that I'm the most afraid of, that's where I most need to experience the love of God. That's right. As Father John Baer writes, to plumb the depths of our own fallenness, is to scale the heights of divine love. No matter how dark it gets in our hearts or how far we think sin has actually reached, the love of God has reached further, and it's my job to tell you that. It's a pretty cool job. I agree. What's it pay? I'm not telling you that. Ultimately, the spiritual father is not a guru. The spiritual father is someone who walks with you into the depths of your heart and proclaims God's love for you. Wow, so that means that we really don't have to be afraid of confession at all, and instead see that it really is grace, that the spiritual father isn't so much a judge of our sin as much as he's a witness to our confession to Christ. That's right, and it's because the priest stands in need of the exact same forgiveness you're asking for, and that the priest, by God's grace and love, 
is a witness to this moment of forgiveness is only because the priest has himself received this exact same forgiveness. Having a spiritual father is important. Revealing your soul is opening yourself in vulnerability. And that's why the father confessor is like a doctor who should be both kind and understand the ailments of the human soul. Someone who, like you and me, has also waged war on the sin dwelling in their hearts. But it's Christ himself who comes to us and heals us. And it is the spiritual father who stands in Christ's place. And shares Christ's love for us. So join the fight. Live Orthodox. Remember to like and subscribe. And join the rest of us inside the trench. Exactly! <laughs> yes! It's the right kind and the right dosage. Exactly! <laughs> Sorry. Well, yeah, if it's the right kind and the right dosage. Exactly. You want I'm to gonna be totally so fine. To and it's because I've even been forgiven that I'm able to even be part of that whole secret society <laughs> of forgiving people. All right, we're gonna do this again. How dark it may seem, or even troubling. <laughs> Both dark and, and troubling. troubling. <laughs> it is bad, bad, bad. No matter how bad, 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 bad it seems. <laughs> well, I just, I wanted to capture the darkness. <laughs>